Well, good morning, friends. Welcome to a beautiful day on the farm. It is great weather. It's cool. It's about 7 a.m. The boys are already over here fishing. You probably can't see them because of the sun. But we've got a mission to do today. One, I've lost one half of my AirPods in the middle of a field, which uh, I used Apple's little thing, and I think I could find it. So hopefully we'll find that one AirPod. Uh, two is we're going to get the TYM tractor out and do some work with it. I did take the tractor guard off thing we talked about before, so uh, that's gone. Makes it a lot easier to load. And I did a quick upgrade to it. My buddy Jake from ITC Quick Attach sent me this saw boss, which I very much appreciate. We had him on the show with Tony and I. And uh, man, I was going to do like a little video or something on installing it, but it took two seconds, like two bolts, done. Um, so we're going to do some mowing today. We're going to hook up the brush hog, but I also have a couple other things we're going to do. So I have a couple magnetic curtains for the blinds. We're going to put those in, and then I'm going to top seed some of the plots. I'll show you guys the plots. They actually look pretty good, but we have a bunch of rain coming next week. I think that this is probably just a good idea to get some, get some extra seed out there. Anything we'd have lost to, to the sun and the heat and everything like that, maybe fill it back in. So I think that we're going to be great on the plots. And yeah, it's going to heat up today. So we're going to get all this stuff done and hopefully have some fun in the meantime. I think we will. So anyway, the tractor's been great. Really enjoyed using this. Um, you can see, I mean, clearly, you know, this has been, it's been used. It's not, uh, it's not lightly used anymore, but we need to go get the bush hog, which is in the hay barn and we're going to get to work. So I rinsed the tractor off a little bit for you guys just so it didn't look so uh, <laughs> nasty. And uh, it's actually been a great machine. The only thing so far that I've noticed is that the hydrostatic pedals are super tight. Like you have to really push down on them. And what a lot of folks have told me is that that will kind of wear in some, it'll, it'll get easier. So if you guys have had that thing with, you know, actually I, I knocked off one of the little rubber things. I can't get it back on. so. That doesn't have rubber, this one does, but if you guys have any advice on getting these things to kind of loosen up a little bit, or if it has loosened up, let me know. Let's see if we can find that earbud thing. That's a shot in the dark that we're going to find it, but I have faith. I have faith. Nice, nice foggy morning here. Okay, so this is the spot where I lost an earbud. So, I'm gonna show you on the camera, or actually here in the video, uh, where I see the earbud is, but the question is where is it? So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a search here. There's all kinds of grass and stuff to look through. Like I said, I'm optimistic. It's actually closer this way. Where are you, AirPod? Well, I've been looking for about 30 minutes and the find my AirPod thing did not work. So I guess that's just part of life. It says it's down here, but then when I come up here, I see this hole and AirPods probably have sweat on them, which is salt, which means a groundhog or something could have taken it and buried it someplace. So, ripped the AirPod. All right, we got mowing to do. But the 5520 cab is tight. This is not a very spacious cab. It's got everything you need, it keeps you nice and cool. But it is, uh, there's not a lot of room for, you know, extra storage stuff. I guess it's got everything you need. I mean, compared to the big 73 horsepower tractors that have the big comfy cab, like this would probably be another cup holder. You know, nice machine though. I love, I love this motor though. Sounds amazing. All right, let's get to mowing.
Okay, so we're down one AirPod. However, I think you guys are gonna love this. Check this out. So there's the Hawk blind or Muddy blind. It's a Muddy blind, but the Hawk and Muddy are the same thing. We put this one up, my buddy Capper and I put it up. We're gonna go in there real quick and I have a curtain kit that's actually magnetic, which is way better than the other ones I've had because the other ones I had, you had these sticky things and when the sun would get on it, you would absolutely lose every bit of stickiness, I guess is what you'd say. All right, so real quickly, the plan here, you let all this stuff grow into here. You can see I'm pretty shielded, so when I come in, I just mowed this path right here. I could take the mini bike, or I could take a four-wheeler, or the, one of the side-by-sides. I really like the electric stuff to do that. Coming here very quietly, climbing up here. Let's pray there's no wasp. All right, no wasp, right? Right, right? Okay, no wasp. So this blind should be absolutely awesome. But we need to put these curtains on. All right, so I just mowed that plot, that plot down there. I mowed a little shooting lane here where I can see the other blind and also knock down some of the brush there. I may need to dial some of this stuff in. You know, the season starts. Sometimes you get out there with a bush hog. I get you better so the sun's not in your eyes there. Sorry about that. Or a rotary cutter, whatever you want to call it. Because those things are actually deer attractants in my opinion. Deer love the smell of freshly cut grass. They love it. So if you want to go out there and get some deer, go out right there and bush hog a field. All right, so this has magnets in it. Yeah, none of this is sponsored. I bought all this stuff. Just feel like we always have to tell everybody. And what does it connect to? Hmm. Did I get the wrong thing? Or is there part of this kit that you have to like... Okay, so there's multiple of this. Well, shoot. I don't think I got the right thing, guys. I was hoping this would work, but oh well. All right, I'm gonna have to get the other ones that have the plastic tabs. I thought this was one of the newer blinds. Gosh, that sun is brutal. Man, I am ready for fall. It has been so stinking hot this year. Oh, wait. Oh, you're supposed to install it. What are these things for? So I guess I need to get some screws or something. Is that right? Or do I put it in? Like, where would you put it? You would think it would come with the screws, but it didn't. All right, well, this will work, but I don't have a screwdriver, I don't have screws, and to be honest, it is like a freaking sauna in here, so. I was hoping to get this stuff done, dialed in, but like always, live to fight another day. Okay, well, these things will work fine. Looks like I just need to install some screw things. Now, I will take one of them with me just so I have that screw diameter because I'll have to get some small screws or tacks. Maybe, yeah, maybe like little tacks would work because you can just tack it in there. I think that's what I'll do. I'll do some like little tacks and that should give me the things to hook it on. As long as the tacks wouldn't pull it out when you go and move these things. Because again, these things are super handy because you have like blocks the window, blocks movement. You can still see through the little square. The number one thing is, as I just said, excuse me, the sun is blaring behind me. So I need to figure out a way not to be skylighted behind there because anything down there would see all kinds of movement. So anyway, all right, let's get out of here because it's too hot. You know, at least we'll be okay once I get some tax or screws or something because I can bring that with me the first time. I've got something really cool showing up here next week that I cannot wait to show you guys. It's gonna be pretty cool. Very different from anything we've ever done before. But it's going to be very neat. I think you guys are going to think it's cool. But, all right, I think I'm not going to go any wider here. I'm just going to keep that super narrow, keep the cover on both sides. You know, yes, I can hunt back here. But if I'm going to be, you know, blacking out this side to keep the sun out, I don't know that there's really any point of trying to hunt both sides. It's just, it's too much. Holy cow, it heated up. Yeah. Let's do some air conditioning. Whew. All right. 
Uh, I think we just have to cut a path back. We're done. Uh, I'm not going to put any seed out. I said I was going to seed. Both food plots look great. It doesn't look like they need it. So um, this may be, we may be just about ready. So I do need to help the boys with some fishing rods though. So let's get back to the house. Okay, real quickly. So I've had a lot of people asking me why I have not made hunting videos lately. Uh, I'll actually a lot of people surprised. Um, one, this platform does not like that kind of thing. It's a channel killer. Okay, you start doing hunting videos, you may as well, you know, you may as well kiss your channel goodbye. Two, I wasn't really sure people wanted to see them because they don't get a ton of views, right? You may get, you know, 500, 600 views where other videos may get a lot more. So what I'm going to do is if you guys are interested in that, if you've watched this video long enough, you probably do like hunting and working and trackers and stuff. Uh, I'm going to, hold on. I am uh, launching a new website. We've just rebuilt our website. It'll have some information on there, but I'm also probably going to upload the hunting videos to that website. So if you have an interest in watching them, that's where you can watch them. It'll all be free. There's no paywall. There's no, you know, information that we have to get or anything like that. So uh, it's going to be like a friends of the farm portion of the website. And that will be where you can watch the hunting videos. I'll put the old ones back up. I took them all down, believe it or not. I'll put them all on there as well as any future ones. It'll be kind of vlog format, just me going hunting. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, which I really enjoy doing, and it's fun to like document the hunts, but that's where you can watch it. So anyway, uh, I had people ask me that question, so I figured I'd go ahead and share that because we're, we're getting to be pretty close to that season. But yeah, all right, head back to the house. It's always a sad day for me when we take the feeders down. I know the deer don't like it either. Oh, how'd this thing move? All right. Into retirement. This will be, I think, year three or four with this feeder. And it'll absolutely go another couple years. Ugh. Sucker's heavy. Maybe I'm just getting old. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one too. Ugh. Gotta eat your Wheaties for this stuff, boys. It's amazing how much we sweat and work during the off season. When the season comes, you just sit and sit and sit and sit. So, not gonna lie, looking forward to doing some sitting. I think we'll take the bush hog and maybe zap that little lane right there. Give a little bit easier entrance in there. Probably do the same thing on the other spot on the way back to the house. By the way, this goes out to all my buddies out there who said, TYM, those aren't real tractors. I've done real tractor stuff today, so I don't know what would make a real tractor, but I had a couple of comments. Those aren't real tractors. Okay. I'm gonna get in here and knock this down. Don't worry about anything you're seeing on the ground. If there's anything, it'll be gone well before the season comes. No tractors were hurt in the filming of this video. Yeah, that's nice. That'll be a nice little, much easier walk in there. I'm gonna put one of those Stealth Cam 360 cameras, I think, right here on this barn to kind of get a look. We're gonna cut hay next week, probably, if it doesn't rain. So once I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set some more things up. Get a little bit more of a setup going. Well, friends, that was a fun day on the tractor. It is now getting close to about 11 a.m. and it's 10 a.m. and it's already 90 degrees in late September. So uh, we're gonna call it here. Uh, no more mowing today. I've gotta go help these boys get some lures on their fishing rods because they keep breaking all my fishing rods and losing all my lures. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can't get them uh, all set up to where you can catch some fish. I will have a lake update here pretty soon. Uh, most of the work's pretty much done, but I'm not going to make this like a 10-part series, so we'll talk about the lake 
in a future video, but there's a lot of really cool stuff coming up. So if you haven't subscribed and you want to come along, you know what to do. Love to have you. There's always room for one more, and I appreciate you watching this video. Catch you on the next one. Joe the Farmer. We out.